So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can undo a commit that you've made with Git using the git reset command. In other words, if you're using Git to track your source files and you've made a change and you want to go back in time, we're going to take a look at how you can do that and remove any changes that you've got in your current project. So we've got our projects in front of us at the moment. We've just got a simple HTML page and some JavaScript code running. So let's say we did something fairly trivial like changing this hello world function uh, to do something a bit different. So instead of saying hello world, It'll take an argument and it will just then say hello name. So once you've made a change like this, you might want to store the change within your repository. And you can see in Visual Studio code here, we've got the changes that have been made. Uh, let's go to the command line though and actually save that using the correct git command. So we're going to say git add everything in our working directory. And then we'll say git commit and we'll say something like update the hello world function. Uh, for our message. So that change has now been committed to our repository and we're going to take a look in just a second how you can undo that but first of all we just need to take a look at another command that you can use with git and that shows us all of the history in our repository and that's the git log command. So if we type in git log here on the terminal you can see here that all of the commits that we've already made to the repository will be listed here. So you can see that's the one I've just made with the uh, update the hello world function message. And there are a few more in here that I've done through the various tutorials where we've been setting up this project. So we just tap Q to get out of that. What we actually want to do is reset that previous commit, the last commit that was in our history. So to do that, what we do is we say git reset. And there are a couple of options here that I'm going to go through. And you can reference the last commit in the repository by first of all uh, using the head keyword. And then if we say tilde and then one, that references the last commit that was made at the point of where we're working at the moment, which is the head of the working directory. So if we go ahead and run that, what you'll see is rather than wiping out the entire history of that change, uh, if we check the git log again, you'll see that the update that we made, that commit, uh, it previously said update the hello world function, that commit has now uh, gone, it's not there anymore, but you'll see that the changes have been put back into the working directory, so they're there ready to be modified and recommitted if we want to. So for example, one thing that I didn't do with this code before is even though it's saying hello name, uh, where we were actually calling the code, uh, we're not specifying a name argument, so we're getting undefined here. So in our index.js, for example, we might say something like James, and you can see now that is working as we'd expect it to. So if we go ahead and recommit that into the repository, so doing the same process that we did before, and we might say fix updated hello world function. And if we check our history again with git log, you can see we've got that commit has been added again, uh, but this time we've had the updated code in there as well. Uh, so what we did is we undid the previous commit made a change and then recommitted it with the working code. So that's a really common thing to do and that's a really useful technique if just being able to reset the previous commit and make some changes to recommit things. But there are some times where you just want to completely remove uh, the previous commit. So Git actually offers us a way to do that as well. And you might have heard of this before, it's called a hard reset. So we can do the same thing that we did before. If we just go through our history and we're going to run git reset head tilde one again this time we're going to pass in dash dash hard and when we do this the uh, commit will be completely removed from the repository so what we should find is that the uh, changes that we've made in index.js and also hello world will actually be removed. So we'll do that now and you can see there's no changes in our working directory at the moment and as mentioned the uh, code in here in index.js and also hello world has been removed and if we take a look at the log one final time you can see that commit is no longer there. It's been completely wiped out as well as all the changes to the code. So you've got to be really careful and really sure that you want to actually do a hard reset, but it can be useful if you've made a mistake and you just want to start again from a particular point. So hopefully that's demonstrated to you how you can undo the last commit that you've made to a repository, whether you're actually making more changes or you just want to completely remove it. You can either use a soft or a hard reset to remove the last commit using the head and tilde one identifier. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.